What is up, you on internet? JQL here, back with another video. In today's video, I have a different kind of video today. I have a collection video, and I usually don't make these kind of videos, but I figured, you know, i uh, do one because, you know, might as well start, so, uh, you know, try something new. Um, so yeah, in this video, I have a Spider-Man movie collection video. Now, notice I said movie, and that means, like, every movie ever from Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, and uh, Tom Holland. Spider-Man figures, because I have a lot of movie Spider-Man figures. If I did, like, Spider-Man collection, just in general, i uh, be here for a while. So, anyway, let's start in order with uh, Tobey Maguire, and let's start off with the homemade suit. Now, you've probably seen this suit if you've watched my videos, which, um, you know, uh, please do. Uh, so, yeah, this is the homemade suit I made, like, at the end of 2021. It's a pretty simple figure, uh, you know, just paint painted the torso. The legs, uh, you know, are painted, of course, uh, and, you know, painted the shoes, uh, painted the back spider logo. The head is there, and the mask is, of course, from Nate's Minifigs uh, that was modified. And, yeah, uh, overall, really simple suit, but, yeah. Um, next, after that, is the version, this is actually version 2 of my, uh, uh, you know, the Spider-Man suit that he typically wears. Uh, and yeah, so this version, basically the only difference between this version and the last version you probably saw in my uh, No Way Home video is um, the silver paint and the red paints are very different. And uh, yeah, so if I bring in the actual, the more recent one, you can see the gunmetal, I use gunmetal instead of silver. I think silver is just a little too bright, personally, so yeah. Uh, transitioning, um, here is the uh, recent one, and I just really like this one a lot more, um, personally. I think Gunmetal works a lot better for this kind of, uh, you know, design suit, uh, at least in my opinion. So, uh, yeah, and the last figure is the Black Suit Spider-Man, pretty much the same thing. Um, this is another reason why I didn't use uh, Gunmetal on this figure, is because I used Gunmetal for the webbing on this guy, so, uh, you know, I didn't want them to look alike, but I ended up doing it anyway, and I think they look just fine next to each other, and, uh, yeah, so... That's pretty much it for Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man, and uh, yeah, you also notice for the black suit and the um, normal suit, I painted up regular heads, because I usually have them displayed with the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the Nate's Minifigs mask, so yeah, I decided to paint up heads, that way they can stay consistent with these guys, so, uh, with the rest of the figure, so yeah. Next up, Andrew Garfield, here we have the first Amazing Spider-Man suit, and yeah, um, personally, I really like the design as, like, a very first suit, you know? Um, so, yeah, really like this figure. I think it turned out pretty good, uh, considering I made this back in, like, what, 2018, I think? And, um, yeah, uh, definitely could be different here and there. I think I could make it better now, but I don't want to remake this figure, because it was a pain in the butt to paint, not gonna lie. And, um, yeah, uh, overall, I think this design is very underrated. Um, you know, obviously, I wouldn't want this design for, like, you know, Spider-Man in general, uh, but as a first suit, it's not bad at all, I think. Um, yeah, next figure is the version 1 of the Amazing Spider-Man 2 suit. Made this guy, like, 2021, right? Um, yeah, so with this figure, I just wanted to try a texture pattern for the suit. And, uh, yeah, it kind of, it, it just didn't work, <laughs> let's be honest. Um, but yeah, it's not great. Uh, and yeah, this is a good first attempt, I guess. Um, it doesn't look like the Amazing Spider-Man 2 suit, mainly because of the eyes and the... Um, the webbing pattern is a little different, and also the spider logo, of course, is very different, so, and the colors are way off, so, yeah, that's why I made a version 2, which is this guy, um, you saw in my No Way Home video, and he turned out a lot better, and this time I decided to, you know, paint the webbings better and more accurate, and, um, a big difference is, I tried putting too much webbings on the arms, for example, like, I tried putting more webbings, and, uh, this time I, um, you know, tried, you know, low, like, not doing as many, I guess, um, even though I still put a lot of webbings on it because the suit has a lot of webbing on it. So, yeah. Um, th another difference is I decided to skip the texture pattern. And the uh, I decided to to paint the spider logo on the chest in gray this time so it stands out more. And, um, yeah, painted the eyes a little differently too here. And now, uh, even though I'm really happy with that figure, this segues to my last and latest Major Spider-Man 2 figure. Uh, this is definitely the best version in my opinion at least. Um, this time I used the red paint I used on my, uh, integrated suit in Tobey Maguire's suit, the latest ones. Um, yeah, I used the red paint there, and I painted the webbings, and apparently I painted the webbings on the back of the head a little inaccurately on the previous two versions, so, yeah, I tried to fix that here. And, uh, the torso was fully painted, and this time I did decide to try the texture pattern again. This time, uh, I mixed a, you know, I have a dark blue paint that's literally just Craftsmart dark blue, 
and then I mixed it uh, in with a little black to make it darker, then painted that as the base, then went over that with normal dark blue paint um, with to make the texture pattern, and I think it looks pretty good, honestly. Um, not perfect, of course, but, you know, I tried my best, and, uh, you know, it, I wanted it to be, like, like, pretty subtle, so that way you could see it. You could definitely see it, but, you know, it wouldn't stand out too much, so... Yeah, I'm really happy with how that turned out. Um, and yeah, the webbing uh, tried to tone it down a little bit because the webbing got a little crazy on this uh, last figure. And um, yeah, but I'm just really happy with this, especially the eyes. I think the eyes um, look really good, at least in my opinion. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for Andrew Garfield. Now we move on to the Max, uh, you know, Tom Holland. I made, I made so many figures. First off, let's start with my very first Spider-Man custom. I made this back in 2016. Oh my god, it looks like ass. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, it's just not good. I tried my best. I made this for Captain America Civil War, and it did not look good. I thought it looked so good at the time, and yeah, um, it, it just did not. Let's just take it away real quick. Um, then here we have the, I think this is version 3, because version 2, I don't have that figure anymore, but um, I'm sure if you look at my you know previous post, you'll find it, but uh, this guy uh, is version 3, and he definitely looks a lot better from this version. It's not the best uh, ever, though. I just knocked something over. That's okay. Um, you can see this time I sculpted on the cartridge web cartridges, except I didn't use Procreate on this figure because I didn't have Procreate at the time. Um, but then I went back with this uh, and, you know, sculpted the web shooters on his hands. Um, and, yeah, you can see it's painted there. And then I used tape on the arms uh, for the black detail. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this figure. Now, uh, the final version of the, uh, what, I don't know what you call it, Stark Tech Suit, I don't know, uh, is this one, and it's still not that great. I feel like I could make it way better now, but since he's probably never gonna wear the suit ever again, uh, I, I'm just gonna, you know, stick with this one. So, this figure, I used the, the dual molded legs, and I decided to use the Lego blue color for the main blue, um, just cause, you know, I, I thought it worked at the time, and, um, same thing with the last one. Oh, wait, no, not same thing. I didn't use tape on the arms. All right, cool. Uh, the web cartridges are much smaller, and the logo is sculpted at a Procreate. This time, you can see it pops out right there. And I also painted and sculpted the web shooters this time. This time, I painted them a little more accurately. And yeah, um, with the last three figures, I just, uh, or the last two, these uh, these two, I decided to use dark wet, uh, red paint as the webbing. I decided to, you know, use black from here on out just because I like I just find black paint way easier to work with than dark red. Um, so yeah, and then here we have the homecoming suit, or the homemade suit, sorry. And this figure does not use Procreate at all, and you see it kind of broke, like there used to be this little, this thing on that side, but it broke, so yeah, it's not there anymore. But it does use a Lego style hood, and the eyes are sculpted using a air dry clay. It's used, it was white, I don't really know what the brand is called, but don't use it, it's not good. <laughs> um, and yeah. So, I did the same thing with the web shooters and sculpted them on, too. So, yeah, uh, there's not much else to talk about uh, with that guy, so let's just take him away. Um, after that, I made a version, this is actually like version 2 or 3 of the Iron Spider. It's really bad, I know. I, I wanted to try and sculpt as many details as possible, because at the time, I was like, Iron Spider, you know, that's armor, right? So, I just sculpted everything, and it just does not look good. And I also painted the webbings in this darker metallic red paint, and it's not terrible but it's definitely not accurate to you know how it's supposed to look in the movie so uh taking that away here is my official like my latest uh, iron spider i think this is version four maybe um my version one was just completely painted no sculpting whatsoever but this one i still wanted to sculpt the armor a little bit and this time it looks a lot better than you know whatever the hell this was um and yeah so the uh obviously the pincers are from mini mates uh they're connected via a custom neck uh peg made out of just uh, some fabric uh, from like a Lego cape or whatever. But taking that off, I put, oh, I dropped his head. Cool, where'd it go? All right, there it is. Uh, putting that on, you can see I went with the black webbing here and I mixed, or not mixed, I used a metallic red and it's still not the most accurate metallic red ever, um, but you know, I just tried my best. Uh, and the logo is sculpted, the shoulders are sculpted and the web shooters are sculpted. And I think they turned out pretty good for the time. I think I made this like, 2019 maybe i don't know i honestly can't remember but it's definitely after infinity war um but yeah so that's pretty much it for the iron spider suit could i make a better one out probably but i don't want to because i just don't have motivation right now um and after that uh we're gonna take a detour from tom holland real quick and show you the miles morales suit that i made recently this is actually a um combination of the across the spider verse and the into the spider verse design so yeah uh 
paints. I decided to paint all the webbings in a gray paint and, you know, combine the spider logo from the Across the Spider-Verse uh, to the, you know, Into the spider design. Because the only difference between this figure um, and the official one, or official art style, there you go, um, is the spider logo is a little different. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for that one. I think it turned out pretty great. And, um, yeah, next figure is the Far From Home figures I made. Uh, I made a video on the, um, the next two figures. Here is the, what was it called, the stealth suit? Night monkey suit? One of the two. Um, I decided to sculpt very subtly uh, on this figure. Um, and I think it turned out really great, honestly. I, I really like this figure, but, you know, there's some things here and there I don't like. Like, the <laughs> I decided to use um, normal gray for the uh, detail on the legs, but it looks so inconsistent with the rest of the figure. Um, yeah, it's just not that great. But uh, all the minimal sculpting that I did, I, I'm really proud of, um, honestly. I, like... It just doesn't stick out as much as it does with like with my uh, Iron Spider version, whatever this is. Um, but yeah, um, I'm just really happy with how they turned out. And the, the, this is the one figure I sculpted eyes on that actually looks good, at least in my opinion. And yeah, so um, just a lot of subtle sculpting details I decided to do here. And I'm still pretty happy with this. Um, I could definitely make it better now, but whatever. Um, here is the upgraded suit, I think. Um, yeah. Uh, it's a, it's a suit. This is the first time I used uh, gloss red because this is the only good red color paint I had. So it's not very good. Uh, it's very glossy. It's very messy. But for the most part, I think I got most of the details on there. Um, I tried painting the webbing uh, or the hands and then painted the webbing on the hands. And I think uh, I probably shouldn't have done that because it just looks weird. Because, um, uh, you know, it's, it's chipped off so many times, you know, so... Uh, I'm surprised it hasn't chipped off yet. Um, this time, this figure, I also sculpted the logo and the eyes, but the eyes do not look good. I just don't like how they look. Um, but yeah, so that, and I decided to try and paint as many details as I could uh, in gray, and I kind of achieved that. Not really. It just looks a little messy, if I'm gonna be honest. But yeah, um, I decided to use metallic white for the white spider logo, by the way, and uh, that's a truck. Sorry. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so that's it for the far from home suit. Now move on to the latest suit I've made is the integrated suit, which is honestly my favorite. I I hesitate to say my favorite Spider-Man suit because I really like how the Andrew Garfield suit turned out for the Amazing Spider-Man 2. So it's like probably sec my second favorite, I guess. Um, like I said originally, I wasn't gonna make this figure, but got a new red paint and this uh, motivated me to make it for some reason because I'm weird. Um, yeah, this figure decided to paint the eyes on. This time, and I painted on the like lenses. You can kind of see they kind of stick out, not really, but yeah. Um, painted that, and the webbings are in black again because I just find black paint easier to work with. And this is actually version two. Uh, I redid the legs a little bit. They look a little better now. Um, and yeah, uh, glove tops from Nate's minifigs. Uh, torso was painted. The entirety of this figure is painted by me. And yeah, sorry, that's a truck. I hope you can't hear that. Um, and yeah, so. It's it turned out pretty good. Uh, the, uh, did I mention the logo was painted? I hope I did. Um, but yeah, and uh, the last Spider-Man figure in this video. Holy crap, we're already at thirteen something minutes. Um, and yeah, here is the uh, final suit. It's I'm not I'm not exactly sure what it, if it has a name, but this is the suit he wears at the end of uh, No Way Home, where he's swinging final swing. Yeah, stuff like that. Um, I didn't I made this before I made the integrated suit, so I didn't have the red paint I use currently. Uh, so yeah, it, the red paint is uh, different, but overall, I'm pretty happy with this figure. Really simple, not a lot of detail. I didn't want to over, you know, go over the top with this guy and paint on all the muscles and stuff. I don't like painting muscles on my figures unless it's like Tobey Maguire because he's actually ripped. Um, um, so yeah, uh, yeah, really simple. The metallic paint, you know, pretty good. Um, and yeah, I might make a version two of this because I want to try and make this figure with the red paint I used on the integrated suit. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this Spider-Man collection video, and let's just wrap it up. All right, here they all are, all my Spider-Man movie figures. Uh, it's a lot of them, and I they barely fit into one frame. So hopefully you guys can see them. And sorry if there are car noises, because my neighbors are being assholes right now, and won't shut up. They're being freaking loud, driving cars, whatever. Um, anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make give this video a like. And if you like what you see here and you want to see more custom minifigures made by me, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. So that way you'll be notified for my next video whenever that comes out. Um, and you can check these out 
uh, earlier on, over on my Instagram, link in the description below. I do post my figures earlier there before I post them here, and I also do post work in progress photos of my figures. So yeah, if you want to check that out, you can check it out there. And yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Um, let me know if you guys want to see more uh, collection videos like these. Um, I definitely would be down to do them. It takes a long time to film them though, and I'm like out of breath. I talk about these guys for like 15 minutes. And yeah, so um, I can definitely do one for like my Ben 10 figures because um, I have a lot of them. Actually, maybe I can't because there's too many of them. But anyway, thank you guys once again so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video, whatever or whatever video that'll be. And I'll see you next time.